So I think the fact that I work in corporate finance, I look at investments, I think a lot of has to do with the return on the investment. So normally I would look at you know, how much investment I'm putting into it and then what our return is, what the payback period and so on and so forth. When it comes to land, um, the equation is no different, but the return is significantly higher than what you would earn in deposits, for instance. Uh, so say, what is our current rates of deposit? Like you'd earn maybe possibly um, anything between, say, 10% to 12% return on any deposit. But for a land, that could be anything between 80 to 100% return in like a two-year period. So it's kind of like a no-brainer. Um, Kurunagala per se is an up-and-coming cosmopolitan, and with the um, highway opening up in, I think, August 2019, this is probably the right time to buy in Kurunagala because when that comes, when the access roads come in, that's when prices will skyrocket. Why, would, why did I personally buy in Kurunagala? Because I thought, I saw that there was so much potential there. And that's what you do look for. When you buy land, you look for places where you can buy at low prices, where you're going to get very high returns, maybe in a year or two. So firstly, Yatala and Manjuri are my friends. And I thought that it would be easier to do business with friends, um, especially because I trust them. But more so, I've found that their staff are very professional. And I've had minimal interaction in the sense that it's been really a stress-free experience to buy land with them. Um, they've come to the point where sometimes some of the lands are bought from them I haven't even seen. But um, after seeing all the concept designs and the actual plan of the land, I've been really happy with that. So it is a stress-free, professional outfit. And that's why you should buy from them. So the lands I've purchased, um, they're more investment. I don't think I will ever live in Kurunagala or build in Kurunagala. Um, and in terms of reselling, that is, I mean, that is the end game at the end. So every year, what I've done is I've spoken with the management of CBH lands, and I've seen what kind of return I can get. And if it's a return I've been happy with, then I've flipped that land, so I essentially sold it, and then reconverted that into buying another piece of land with them. Uh, it really depends. So if it's if I wanted like a 100% return on investment, I may have had to wait two years, and that's what I've got with them. So that is the end game at the end. Whether you're male or female, I think rates of return and how much you're going to earn on that investment is the most important. So your, your rate of investment, um, rate, your return on the investment is the most important. Um, it really depends on what you want to invest in. It could be real. I think at the moment, the ones that you could really invest in is real estate because that will always get you more return than most other industries. As a female, it's always important to have a nest egg, and that could be simply saving on your monthly salary or so on, so on and so forth. But I think you need to be smart about how you invest your money. So even if it's in even if it's saving from your monthly salary, you need to then put that away into deposits, which can then mature when you can earn return on that maturity uh, during maturity. I don't think you should uh, fix the amount that of like the percentage of investments because it really depends in um, what the current return on those investments may be. So maybe um, I think maybe about 40% in land, about 20% in shares, and then the balance in deposits. But I think you should look at your rate of return on each of these investment portfolios and then make a decision.